August 30th, 1880, New York Times. All of us, including this reporter, have great respect for Mr. Bell's achievements with the telephone. But surely he doesn't really expect us to believe he can use light instead of wires for his talking machine. And Dr. Bell insists that what the telephone accomplishes with the aid of a wire, his photophone accomplishes with the aid of a sunbeam. The ordinary man, however, may find a little difficulty in comprehending how sunbeams are to be used. The public has a great deal of confidence in scientific persons, but there is a general feeling that there is something about Professor Bell's photophone which places a tremendous strain on human credulity. Mr. Tainter, if you hear what I say, wave your hat. Although Alexander Graham Bell was never able to transmit speech by light for more than 1,300 feet, he considered the photophone his greatest invention. But he lacked both a suitable light source and a reliable way of sending the light through the atmosphere. Nearly a century passed before even the first of these inventions arrived to create light wave communications. Imagine sending a letter to a friend across the country in a minute or less, or reading any book in any library in the world as easily as dialing a phone, or tuning in on more than a hundred television stations for entertainment or education. Well, the basic technology to make these miracles realities is already developed. And should economic factors and need dictate, these services may become part of our daily living This explosion in communications technology was brought about by an industry structure that encourages an extraordinary collaboration of science, engineering, manufacturing, and application. Every detail that makes light wave communications practical is in itself a miracle of invention. The light source, capable of sending phone calls, data, even television signals from one place to another, produces the purest light in the world, the laser. Lasers begin as artificially grown crystals. Slices, thinner than paper, contain hundreds of lasers the size of a grain of salt. Lasers are controlled to flash over 44 million times a second. Transmitting coded messages, they are designed to operate reliably for 100 years. As the right kind of laser was being perfected, other scientists were developing a conduit for carrying the remarkable light. The chosen carrier was glass. Glass made from silica found in sand, the most plentiful material on Earth. By 1975, they had succeeded in producing the most transparent glass in the world. Thin as a human hair, these glass fibers are capable of carrying all kinds of communication signals for several miles without loss or distortion before they need to be strengthened and sent on their way. And they are stronger than steel. Laser pulses flow through the fiber at a rate equal to a million words a second.
after nearly a century, Dr. Bell's dream has come true, but not in the form he would have recognized. In the future, light wave technology could increase our ability to transmit information by at least 1,000 times. Light guides are immune to crosstalk, lightning, or other electrical interference. In just one second, a bundle of a hundred fibers no thicker than a child's crayon, can relay the entire contents of 200 books. These threads of glass, sometimes described as angel hairs, are destined to have tremendous impact on our lives the way we communicate, the way we conduct business. A glass fiber cable can carry 48,000 two-way voice conversations, or 72 two-way TV channels, or a million simultaneous business data messages. Light guides, smaller and lighter than conventional copper cable, will save space in our underground ducts. Today, trials are being conducted to test this new communications technology. Phone calls, data, and even picture phone service are now being carried over glass fibers in the test areas. Ladies and gentlemen, this afternoon we're going to be meeting with our people in Washington to talk about this problem of rising costs. So why don't I just invite them in? Good afternoon, Norma and Joe. Light wave transmission promises to give us an even greater share of the world's information in ways that are today beyond our imagination. Many of the world's inventions were once regarded as impossibilities, but they are now part of our lives. As light wave technology expands, communication by light will surely be part of our future. <laughs> 